Unsolved Problems in Physics Dark Energy What is the cause of the observed accelerating expansion of the universe? Are the observations we make correctly interpreted as the accelerating expansion of the universe, or are they evidence that the cosmological principle is false? Why is the energy density of the dark energy component of the same magnitude as the density of matter at present when the two evolve quite differently over time? Could it be simply that we are observing at exactly the right time? Is dark energy a pure cosmological constant, or are models of quintessence such as phantom energy or ether models applicable? Dark flow is a non-spherically symmetric gravitational pull from outside the observable universe responsible for some of the observed motion of large objects such as galactic clusters in the universe. The largest structures in the universe are larger than expected. Current models of the cosmos say there should be very little structure on scales larger than a few hundred million light-years across, due to the expansion of the universe beating the effect of gravity. But the Sloan Great Wall is 1.38 billion light-years in length, and the largest structure currently known, the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, is up to 10 billion light-years in length. Are these actual structures or random fluctuations in density? If they are real structures, they contradict the end-of-greatness hypothesis, which asserts that at a scale of 300 million light-years, structures seen in smaller surveys should be randomized to the extent that the universe appears to be smoothly distributed. Proton decay and spin crisis. Is the proton fundamentally stable, or does it decay with a finite lifetime as predicted by some extensions to the standard model? How do the quarks and gluons carry the spin of protons? Color confinement. The quantum chromodynamics color confinement conjecture is that color-charged particles, such as quarks and gluons, cannot be separated from their parent hadron without producing new hadrons. Is it possible to provide an analytic proof of color confinement in any non-abelian gauge theory?